It is an uncertain future for a key part of San Antonio's past. Seven weeks after the Texas Historical Commission blocked plans to move the Cenotaph in Alamo Plaza a few hundred feet, City Council discussing the consequences to the $400 million Alamo plan. But as Garrett Berger tells us, it's not the only change that will need to happen. The Texas Historical Commission's decision to not allow the Cenotaph's relocation is one that will echo through the Alamo plan. We're going to have to redo, redesign, because that Cenotaph is not moving. Since the current plans for the plaza and a museum both include the Cenotaph moving, city staff say plans or timelines need to change. The setback has already caused some board members of the Remember the Alamo Foundation, charged with raising the money for the museum, to resign. Councilman John Courage suggested a different kind of change, a shakeup of the city's leadership involved in the plan, saying it needs fresh eyes. And to not have sat down and come up with a plan B, uh, I think shows that there's too much tunnel vision on where this project uh, has been going and is going. Roberto Trevino, who as a member of the management committee would be chief among the people Courage is talking about replacing, blamed the Senate half setback on political squabbling in Austin because certain elected officials turned the monument, quote, into a lightning rod used to galvanize their political base. Sadly, those efforts were successful in turning a project emphasizing, telling the evidence-based and whole story of the Alamo to one which was based upon political ideology and mythology. The city says all the partners are still committed to the plan's vision and guiding principles. Though any path forward will require changing or even canceling the lease management agreement the city has with the general land office. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.